Hey guys, what's up? Toba Logo here. Today we are back with the 2006 FIFA World Cup game. Uh, we're going to do a qualifying run in North America with St. Kitts and Nevis because St. Kitts and Nevis are the lowest ranked team out of the, all of the available teams that we have here. We have done St. Kitts and Nevis in the past on 2010 World Cup, but that was only a basic run. So we're going to do a qualifying run. And because I used to love using St. Kitts and Nevis on this game when I was a kid because um, because of their flag, I thought it was cool. And um, yeah, like they're the lowest ranked team in the game. So it's really cool to try and push the lowest ranked team through the qualification region and to the actual World Cup. Hopefully we can make it. We're doing it on world class difficulty. So it might be a bit difficult. But that's what we love to do. So these are the groups that we got. I think there's, these are the actual World Cup groups and I'm tempted to randomise them but I just saw that Vincent and the Grenadines are in my group and um, they're quite sort of close neighbours to St Kitts and Nevis and they are a Caribbean team as well and I'd like to play another Caribbean team and Trinidad are in there as well so that could be a good match. So yeah, and there's Mexico as well, so that'll be a big match. So we'll keep those groups for now. All right, our first match at home is against Trinidad and Tobago. I'm loving the colours of the kits and everything. St. Kitts and Nevis really do have a cool flag, don't they? I mean, I hope there's no bad meaning behind it or whatever, but they do really have a cool flag. We're against Trinidad and Tobago, who are, of course qualified for the real 2006 FIFA World Cup. They haven't qualified since, although uh, back in 2018 they did stop the USA from qualifying. So, um, yeah, that's pretty funny, I guess, uh, if you're, you're not American. Just need to defend well on this. I, if I can get out of this um, this mini group, then that would be great. That would be awesome. But the likelihood of it with Mexico in there as well, I don't know. I think only like two people can get out of the group. So we need to finish second at least. And they just got a banger immediately. Dwight York just hit it from outside the box. And this 1-0 to Trinidad and Tobago. The fast paced movement caught me off guard. And yeah, well... Uh, <laughs> I mean, the, the pro ball just cut me wide open and I couldn't get there in time. And it looked like he struck it outside of the boot and it just like flew. Let's just have a look at it one more time. Yeah, he did look. He kind of like outside of the boot hit, hits the inside of the post and goes in. Oh, good ball. Come on. You got a run, Gums. Come on. He was good in my 2010 run, Gums. He scored quite a fair few goals. See if he can do it here. Uh oh, come on, you've got to close him down. Oh, that was a good save by the keeper. That could have been match over if he didn't save that. Go towards it, please. Okay, that's a good through ball. Come on. Come on. Come on, Gums. You can do it. You. Oh, no, why'd you turn inside yourself like that? I didn't want to do that. I wanted you to sort of, like, just turn slightly so I can get the shot off. Okay, that's a good through ball. Come on. It's Rillock. Can he score? Oh, good save by the keeper. I should have blasted it. Should have. But I'm always scared. People always say in the comments, like, oh, you should just blast the ball in these situations instead of trying to finesse it into the bottom corner, like most of the time, like I do. But the problem is, like, on world class difficulty, if you just put the bar, like, slightly higher than it should be, it'll go flying over the bar. And I just. I feel finesse in those situations is better, personally, myself. I know people have different play styles of FIFA and that. Well, Trinidad and Tobago take that first match against us. We've already dropped points. It was only a 1-0, which wasn't too bad from St. Kitts and Nevis' point of view, but we just need to improve defensively. The second match of this qualifying run is against St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Is this actually a derby match or an international rivalry? Like, they are quite close to each other, these two nations. Like, would you consider it? Like, I thought back uh, when I was a kid, when I used to play this match, St. Vincent and the Grenadines versus St. Kitts, I thought it was. And I thought it was a really cool sort of, like, idea that these two would be battling it out, even though they're one of the two worst, like, teams in the game. Good ball. Oh, another save by this keeper. That's a good ball by St. Vincent. If they scored that, if they got the header off and scored that, I would have been pretty mad. That better not be offside. That's a good ball. Get in the box. Oh, please, get in position. Like, I've been all over St. Vincent right now, and they just they just haven't, like... We haven't taken our chances. Come on. Gums. Gums. Oh, he did get past the keeper, but he saved it. 
Oh, it didn't, no, he didn't save it. It was just a poor shot. It just looked like he saved it. Maybe it took a bubble or something. So here we go. It's guns. Can we? Can we? Oh, I pressed, like, so much power on it and still doesn't go in. What are they doing here? That's just madness. I can tell you right now that we probably haven't qualified. We probably haven't. Because we're just not, like, taking our chances in front of goal. The keepers have been pretty insane, to be honest. And, um, yeah, here comes St. Vincent. Oh, my goodness. Like, get out of here with that. We're going to have to accept a draw and just hope that we can try and beat Mexico in the next round. I mean, <laughs> probably not going to happen. Well, for some reason, we're playing Trinidad and Tobago again. Surely we should be playing Mexico at this stage, but... Whatever, we can try and get revenge on this side. They beat us 1-0 at our home. Let's see if we can do the same again against them at their home ground. Just to give you an insight on how the group is looking. Uh, we are, we've got one point and Mexico have got four. And Trinidad have got seven. So it means that we cannot afford to lose this match even though they just scored. Over the top here and um, he scores this little tap in. So irritating. Like like the defensive breakdown we just had. Just not good enough. Although we could. We could. Oh off the post. This game. Yes. A goal. We forced it in. And it's Willock with the goal straight after we conceded. Incredible scenes in Trinidad as St. Kitts regain the the draw, I guess. But look at this. This was so random. That was so lucky. All of that was so lucky. That's a decent ball. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we scored again. Yes, it's Willock again with the goal. And this time, that was kind of more legit than the first one that went in. And St. Kitts and Nevis have taken a 2-1 advantage in this group. Finally, we started to pick up a little bit more form and a bit more goals. What were Trinidad doing there? Terrible defending by them. The through balls on this game are so overpowered. They really are. Like, just one through ball and you can just basically go through any defence on this game. Well, we have a little bit of a shock on our hands. I'm not sure if ever St. Kitts have beaten Trinidad, but oh well. Someone can tell me if they have or haven't, but it's 2-1. At half time. That's a really good ball. Look how like that cut their defence. That's a good save as well. I'm just gonna shoot from miles away and the keeper gets it. That is definitely game over. And there we go. We beat Trinidad and Tobago 2-1 thanks to a lucky goal at the start after we conceded and obviously getting uh the deflected goal, the little tap in that we needed to go on top in this one. So we got four points out of uh, three games. We quickly just have a look at my group then. So we got a match in hand, but it's against Mexico. This run all comes down to this because Trinidad are more than likely gonna beat uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So if Mexico beat us, then we're gonna be stranded in third place because those two teams will get 10 points. And then we will only have around about sort of I don't know, three more games to, to get out there. And both two of those three games are against Mexico. So it's going to be very difficult to get back into it unless we draw or win against Mexico. Well, um, the games just threw another curveball at me. We're against St. Vincent and the Grenadines again. So this is a fantastic opportunity to pick up points because the other two, Mexico and Trinidad are going to be playing each other. So that means that there is a chance to get second place, whoever wins out of Trinidad and Mexico. Would be lovely if I can tackle St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Like, it's just, like, they're, they're, they're dodging all my tackles. I don't get how St. Vincent are playing way better than what Trinidad played like, because St. Vincent aren't, like, as good as Trinidad, so I don't get it. They're just turning away from me. They're making the match really awkward to play. And maybe that's their strategy. They're like, well, we maybe they're rivals with St. Kitts. And they're just like, well, when, if we're not going to qualify, you're not either. But at halftime, it rem remains nil-nil. Only one shot on target for us. Come on, this has to be a goal, right? Just got to cross it in and hopefully someone will header it. Okay, well, I don't know what happened there. That would have been a ridiculous ball if he pulled that one off. 
and that is a good one. Mexico are winning 2-0 against Trinidad, so that means that the two sides, that's a good shot and a good save. Second place is up for grabs at the moment. That volley and that save were both amazing. Crossed in. Header. Oh my god, the keeper just making outrageous saves. That header was another great shot. St. Vincent just keep booting it off the field. Like literally, they know they're in danger, so they just keep booting it off the field, hoping for this point, which gains nothing for them apart from just just the point, obviously. Well, St. Vincent have gr grinded out another draw against me. Like, this side is unbelievable. Like, all they did was sit back and defend. They knew they were in danger. And both games have been a missed opportunity for me. This should have been three points either way. And I should be right up there with Mexico and um, Trinidad. Instead, I'm left now thinking I've got to beat Mexico twice to get into the World Cup. So, the next match is against Mexico. And if we don't win this match then we're out, 100%, because Trinidad will beat St. Vincent and the Grenadines. There's no doubt about it. So we have to somehow win this match. We need a miracle against Mexico. Our attack has been okay. Like, it's been attacking other, like, sides. But the problem is, it's either the goalkeepers keeping us out or the game's mechanics. Through ball. Oh, my goodness. Just not timed correctly. Come on. Get in the box. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you got it, you got it, go on, go, go on, go on, go on, yes, yes, that was so lucky, what were Mexico doing there, what were they doing, they passed straight to me, and Willock scores, how about that, St. Kitts and Nevis have taken the lead against Mexico, thanks to a defensive error, Mexico are definitely going to, like, get back into this game, there's no doubt about it, I mean, they're going to, they're going to absolutely, like, destroy me offensively, like, even now, I just couldn't get rid of it. Header by Mexico. Great save by the keeper. He saw it late and still got to it. It's going to be hard to contain Mexico if they continue to push me like this. They're not, like, super pressing me. It's just that I can't tackle them, apart from there. But it's half-time, and we still hold a 1-0 advantage, surprisingly. Just can't get the ball off of them, but they're just not doing anything with it. They're not, they're not like, trying to make a play. I mean, this guy's just held, held on to it for the in-game time of 15 minutes. Imagine that, going to a match and watching someone hold the ball and doing nothing for 15 minutes. We've got about 15 minutes to play in-game time, and we still held on for this win so far. Just need to try and mount a couple more attacks so that we can try and cement this win. Just get rid of it. It doesn't matter, we're still winning. By the time they get that, it's going to be game over. Yes, it is. And uh, we won against Mexico. How about that? How about that? For a lucky goal, we just beat Mexico, one of the best teams in the North American qualifying region, if not the best team in the region. And we've given ourselves a real big chance to qualify. Now we need to beat Mexico away from home, which is way tougher than um, doing it here at home. We had the home advantage, we had the crowd behind us. So if you look at the group, we have the chance to be in second place. Well, we are in second place. The problem is we have to beat Mexico again uh, at away from home, like I said just now. But Trinidad have got another game against St. Vincent. And they're probably going to win that match, as very likely they are. So, yeah, we just need to be on our guard. A draw isn't enough, because we still could lose it. So we just need to be careful. This match here is make or break for St. Kitts and Nevis. They've got the support behind them in the, the back end there. Through ball. Come on, Willock. Come on. Oh, another good save. I put quite a considerable amount of power into that shot. Still saved it. Come on, please. You've got to tackle him here. That's a good ball. Close him down. Crossed in. That's going to be a header. And they scored. Oh, no. Rogetti with the goal. And that could finish off our campaign if we're not careful. We're already 35 minutes in. We could, well, we need two goals now. We need two goals because a draw isn't enough. Has he ended our qualifying campaign? Crossed in. Go for the header. Go on. Off oh, the post. Are you kidding me? Crossed in again. Header. And he just catches it. I mean, 
Yeah, half time, and we've had more shots, but Mexico have had the most clinical shot. Obviously, they score from it. Oh, they're just playing around the ball too much. I don't think we're going to get two goals in the space of, uh, well, 14 minutes in game time. Trinidad have now gone 3 0 up, and they've cemented their place into the World Cup. I don't think we're going to get anything out of this. Mexico basically got the ball, they've kept it. And we can't tackle them properly. And he keeps pinging back to their players. Which is a real shame really. Because we were on the fringe of qualifying. And well for the next round anyway. And we just haven't done enough. Those matches against St Vincent should have been wins. Like That's where we failed in this qualifying run. It's not here against Mexico. It's the win ones against um, uh, St Vincent and the Grenadines. But yeah, unfortunate, you know, sometimes it happens, we don't qualify, about, I'd say 60% of the time on this channel, we don't qualify. So if you look at our group, we are only two points off of qualifying for the next round, so that's very unfortunate. We only lost two games, but anyway, if you did like this video, then give it a like and subscribe, keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.